Uh, I'm very proud of doing what I'm doing. I don't call it a shutdown. I call it doing what you have to do for the benefit and for the safety of our country. If there was any doubt that the wall matters to Donald Trump, consider a for three very, days very in a row, meeting. he's gone in front of the cameras to talk about it. This is national security we're talking about. We're not talking about games. Trump called this hastily arranged press conference after his second meeting this week with Democratic leadership, where both sides refused to budge. We recognize on the Democratic side that we really cannot resolve this until we open up government, and we made that very clear to the president. Trump threatened to keep the shutdown going for months, possibly years, even with hundreds of thousands of government workers off the job or with no check. He even claimed with no evidence that those same federal workers have his back. Certainly they're not thrilled, but they say, sir, do the right thing. We need border security. Just one of the many questionable statements during an hour-long back and forth. We have terrorists coming through the southern border because they find that's probably the easiest place to come through. They drive right in and they make a left. Not going to happen. The chair Last night, Democrats the used their newly gained control the in the House of Representatives to pass legislation to get the government running. The bill is passed. Largely symbolic, given that it had no money for a border wall. I'm the president of this country. Today, Trump so said if he wanted to, he could just use executive power and bypass Congress altogether. I may do it. I may do it. But we could call a national emergency and build it very quickly. And uh, it's another way of doing it. Trump, though, says he prefers a negotiated settlement. So he's asked top staffers from both sides to meet over the weekend. But considering how entrenched the standoff is, the shutdown seems poised to drag on. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.